Hi viewers, I'm teacher Eunice. I'm going to take you through grade 4 science and today we are going to learn about the digestive system. We are going to learn about the digestive system and before we begin we want to know what is digestion. Digestion is the breaking down of food particles into absorbable in order for them to be absorbed in the body. Digestion is the breaking down of food particles so that they can be absorbed in the body. And today, major, we are only going to measure on the digestive system. The digestion, digestion of food starts from the mouth and ends in the small intestines. Digestion of food starts in the mouth and ends in the small intestines. So, this is the, the structure of the digestive system. This is the mouth where food is taken into. When the food reaches the mouth, it is broken into smaller particles by the teeth. The food is broken down into smaller particles by the teeth, which is then swallowed down into the esophagus. Then from here, the food goes down into the stomach. When the food reaches the stomach, in the stomach there are some digestive juices that are produced from the gall bladder. The digestive juice aid in the digestion or in the breaking down of the food particles that were brought from the mouth through the esophagus then into the stomach. The food in the stomach is then digested further into smaller particles in the stomach. When the food is now digested in the stomach, it is now taken into the small intestines. It is now taken into the small intestines. In the small intestines, this is where absorption of food into the body takes place. The food is then absorbed into the body through the small intestines. All the nutrients in the food is taken through the small intestines. The small intestines has finger-like projections that are called villi. The villi, through the villi, is where the food particles are absorbed into the rest of the body. Then, from the small intestines, the food is further pushed into the large intestines. Remember, when we started the lesson, we said that uh, digestion of food starts from the mouth and ends in the small intestines. So, when the food particles are absorbed in the small intestines, the remaining particles are then taken through the large intestines. Remember, in the large intestines, there is no digestion that takes place in the large intestines. What happens in the large intestines is just the absorption of water and mineral salts. Then after absorption of water in the min and mineral salts in the large intestines, the remaining food is now the undigested or the unwanted food in the body. The unwanted food in the body is then pushed further in the rectum. This is called, the rectum is like a, a bag where food and digested food is stored, ready to be ingested out of the body. So, when the undigested food is taken into the rectum, it is when you, um, when you feel like going to relieve yourself. It means that there is some food or there is unwanted products that is supposed to be ingested out of your body. So, the undigested food, after being stored in the rectum, it is now taken down into the anus. This is the end opening of a digestive system where the waste products are now ingested out of the body. So learners, what did we say? We said that digestion of food starts in the mouth and ends in the small intestines. Next, after, after being, being absorbed into the body through the small intestines, 
what remains is then absorbed in the large intestines, that is the mineral salts and the water. It is absorbed in the large intestines. These are the large intestines. Then after that, what remains are the waste products which are stored in the rectum, ready to be ingested through the anus. So today we've learned about the digestive system, the digestive system which comprises of the mouth, where food is taken through the esophagus, where food is transported down into the stomach. Then in the stomach, the food is digested there. There are digestive juices produced by the gallbladder, which digest the food. Then from there, the food is taken down into the small intestines where absorption takes place. Then from the small intestines, the food is taken into the large intestines where absorption of water and mineral salts take place. Then from there, the food is now, the remaining is not, is not, is, uh, is what is not wanted by the body. That is the undigested food. Then it is pushed down further into the rectum. This is the rectum. Then from the rectum, the food is removed through the anus as the waste products that are produced from our bodies. That is all for today, learners. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Well done, and let's meet uh, during the next lesson. God bless you.